Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. As the name implicates that this condition happens without drinking too much alcohol. The reason I say this is because we all know that alcohol can cause severe damage to the liver. As I had explained in my previous videos on cirrhosis of the liver. So in this condition, it's a very, very common condition, happens in about 5% of the population, if not more. It varies from very mild to quite severe. So let's go a bit deeper into it and see what it is, what it does, and how it can be prevented. I'm sure you have seen the liver uh, from a lamb or a cow or whatever, and some of you probably have eaten liver as well, cooked liver. Normal liver, has got very little fat in it. Whether it's in the animals or in humans, it has got very little fat. You've seen the color of it, it's about between maroon and brown. And the edges are quite sharp. You can see the edge of the liver is very sharp and it's very soft, it's very pliable. It's like even like my cloth, it's so pliable, normal liver. And if you squeeze it very hard, you probably can push your fingers through the liver. So that's the normal consistency of the liver, maroon in color or dark brown in color. However, when too much fat goes into the liver, and I'll come into the causes of it in a minute, the liver changes its color. It becomes more yellow. This is green, obviously, because I don't have a yellow marker, but it becomes yellow. And the redness becomes less and less as the amount of fat in the liver increases. And as the fat increases, the liver becomes heavier and bigger than it normally is. And the edges of the liver, instead of being very sharp, you can see the sharpness here, they become very blunt. And the texture of the liver changes as well. So in this one, if I press it, I can push my finger through it very hard if I press it hard. In this one, if I press hard, it probably will split the liver into two. And so the liver becomes far more fragile and looks very unhealthy and looks very greasy. And sometimes you can even feel the oil on the surface of the liver. So what causes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? The main cause is bad lifestyle. Eating bad, eating unhealthy, smoking, being overweight, high cholesterol diet and having a very high cholesterol in our blood, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which is very frequently associated with obesity. All these things can and probably will result in fatty liver disease. So fatty liver disease comes in four stages, ranging from very mild to quite severe. Very mild fatty liver disease is very common. Usually there are hardly any symptoms. Patients go to the doctor for something else, like they go for gallstones or indigestion or something, and the doctor sends them for an ultrasound scan. And ultrasound scan shows that the liver is fatty. It's a very common condition. It does not lead to any serious liver damage. Slight change of lifestyle, like reducing weight, regular exercise, cutting down on smoking, will take care of the fatty liver disease and the liver will go back to normal. If however this condition continues to progress and if we don't take care of our body, don't change our lifestyle, keep indulging in unhealthy food, no exercise, smoking, our blood pressure is not well controlled, we are having a very high sugar diet, then it will lead to inflammation of the liver, condition called NASH. NASH means non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. In this case, the fat in the liver is inflaming the liver cells, which means those liver cells, if still not controlled, that the condition will start causing damage. When liver cells start getting damaged, they start dying. When they start dying, they are replaced with scar tissue. And that is the next stage, which is called fibrosis or scarring of the liver. Now, the part of the liver which has been scarred cannot be replaced and will remain scarred. However, most of the liver is still okay. And if we change our lifestyle, control our diabetes, control our blood pressure, stop our smoking and unhealthy lifestyle, 
then most of the liver will recover and go back to normal. If our damage to the liver continues after scarring, the scarring becomes so bad that we come to end stage liver disease, which is cirrhosis. Now I'll discuss cirrhosis in more uh, detail in my next video. However, this is end stage liver disease. And when there is so much scarring in the liver, that the blood vessels in the liver start getting compressed, the liver is not functioning normally, and the patient starts looking jaundiced. Their legs are swollen, their body is swollen, they've got edema, which is collection of fluid in their tummy, in their tissues, on their legs, in their arms, their face looks puffy, and their skin and their eyes start looking yellow, that is, they're becoming jaundiced, and the liver is going towards liver failure. At this stage, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is incurable and irreversible. So what are the symptoms of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? They range from how mild or how severe the condition is, so having almost no symptoms, to jaundice. This is very early non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Some patients can get mild abdominal discomfort, especially under the right side of the rib cage where the liver is. Some people might feel a bit of sickness, might even vomit, feel bloated, might lose some weight. Their legs might get swollen, their eyes get puffy. They start retaining fluid in their body and their tummy gets swollen because there is fluid in the tummy. At this stage, liver disease is becoming quite advanced. And by the time they get to jaundice, which is yellow discoloration of the skin and the eyes, the disease is irreversible because cirrhosis has set in. So how is it diagnosed? Uh, many patients with fatty liver disease is not normally diagnosed. The reason is because they usually don't get any symptoms. However, it can be picked up on blood tests, especially liver function tests, which I've discussed in my previous videos on liver functions. Simple ultrasound scan uh, of the abdomen, which is like a jelly scan on the tummy. Also a biopsy of the liver, which can be done during ultrasound scan will confirm fatty liver disease. So what is the treatment for fatty liver disease? There is no medication to my knowledge which is available to get rid of fatty liver disease. The mainstay of treatment for fatty liver disease is change of lifestyle. Regular exercise, lose weight, control the diabetes, control the blood pressure, control your high cholesterol, cut down on smoking or stop smoking, and all of this put together will make your liver better, reduces the risk of fatty liver disease getting worse and leading to the end stage, which is cirrhosis of the liver. So most important thing, change of lifestyle. Nip it in the bud, treat it early when it's first diagnosed rather than letting it progress to end stage liver disease, which is cirrhosis. I hope you found this video informative and if you did then please remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you very soon.